Welcome to another screencast tutorial brought to you by the Informatician blog. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about mashups, and in particular, we're going to use Tarpipe as a tool that can enable the creation of mashups across various social networking websites. If you don't know what Tarpipe is, this is the website address for the service. It's www.tarpipe.com, and in their own words, they describe Tarpipe as a publishing, mediation, and distribution platform that simplifies regular upload activities across various social networking websites. If I were to give you my own definition of Tarpipe, I consider it to be an online mashup tool that allows distribution of content across social networking sites. It simplifies a lot of our repeat tasks that we're engaged in on a daily basis, things such as posting pictures and updates across sites like Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter. I don't consider myself to be a heavy user of social networking sites, but I do realize the overhead that's associated with managing an up-to-date profile on various sites. If you're considering what a mashup is, if you haven't heard that term before, then this is a quick definition. It sort of gives you an idea of what mashups are all about. It's a composite web application that can be constructed from content and services that are available on other websites already. So it's all about effort-free integration. It's all about a, using a graphical user interface and a tool that does not require any programming effort to create the functionality and the presentation that you're interested in. There are various tools available online for creating mashups. Some of these are available to create consumer mashups. Tarpipe is one example of such a tool. Other tools include Yahoo Pipes and Dapper, and you could find more information about those tools on my blog. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to use Tarpipe to create a workflow which enables an email or MMS message containing a picture to post that picture on Flickr and send a Twitter update with a link to that picture. Why would you want to do something like this? It's something that we do on a routine basis. It simplifies a repeat task. We create a workflow once and that workflow can be executed every time you send an email or an MMS message to a specific email address. So using one single interaction by sending that email, it triggers multiple upload activities, it triggers multiple update activities across various sources. Uh, before you get started with this tutorial, I'm assuming that you've already set up a Tarpipe account. You could sign in using your Google ID or your Open ID, and once you've set up your Tarpipe account, you also need to authorize Tarpipe to interact with any other social networking sites that you want to use. In this example, we're going to use Flickr and Twitter, so I'm assuming that you've given authorization for Tarpipe to interact with those services. The use case for our tutorial example is simple. We're assuming that an end user is using their mobile phones or their computers to send an email or an MMS message containing a picture and perhaps a subject line that can be used as a caption for that picture and we want to post that picture to Flickr and we want to post an update to Twitter. So that is our use case. More details about this, what we want to do is we want to take an email, take out the attachment from that email and post it on Flickr, use the subject line from that email as a caption on Flickr and also that subject line will become our Twitter update. Once the picture is posted on Flickr, a URL will be generated for that picture. We need to shorten that URL, and there is a specific module within Tarpipe that can do that for us. And once the image is once the image URL is shortened, we're going to use that in our Twitter update as well. So that's what the sequence diagram for our use case looks like. So with that quick intro to Tarpipe and the concept of mashups, we're ready to get started with our example. You could go to the tarpipe.com website and make sure that your accounts are all set up. You'll see various tabs at the top. In the accounts tab, I have my Flickr account and my Twitter account already configured to use Tarpipe. So I'm all set. I could go into the workflows tab and create a new workflow. And in that workflow, tool, you could give it a title and a description to get started. So I'm going to call my workflow 
email to Flickr to Twitter because that is actually what I want to do through this workflow. I want to get an email and send and post a picture on Flickr and an update to Twitter. So that is what my workflow is going to enable me to do. The receptor drop-down menu here asks you how you're going to trigger that workflow, whether that's going to be through an email or that's going to be through a REST API. In our case, we're doing something very simple. We're going to trigger our workflow using an email. So I'll let this be for now. In the connectors or the modules area, you'll see what modules Tarpipe can interact with. And you'll see various social networking websites that you can interact with. So there's Facebook, there's Flickr, there's friend feed and Twitter as well. So though the couple of modules that we're going to use in this example, first one is going to be the mail decoder, which takes an email and allows us to take different parts of that email and use them in any way we want. The second module we're going to use is the Flickr module. So uh, we want to post a picture to Flickr. So there are there is a parameter that accepts a picture as input. There is a parameter that accepts a title for that picture or a caption for that picture as input. And you could also supply tags for Flickr. In terms of the output parameters from that module, it generates a picture URL that could be used in other modules. You could have the picture or a thumbnail of that picture as an output as well and use it in any other modules that you like. The third module which we're going to use in this tutorial is the Twitter update module. So I have that and again if you look at the input parameters it accepts a title which is your update tweet and it accepts a URL uh, for that tweet as well. But before we can supply it those parameters we actually need to shorten the URL if you remember our use case and for that we're going to use the tiny URL module. So what we want to do is we want Flickr to generate a picture URL for us. We want to shorten it and then supply it to our Twitter update. So those are the four modules that we're going to use in our example. Now all you need to do is just to connect the various parameters, the input and output parameters among these modules. So we receive an email the image attachment that comes with that email or MMS message is going to go into the input parameter for Flickr. The subject line becomes the title of that picture. The subject line will also become the title for my tweet that I want to send to Twitter update. And once I post the picture on Flickr, I also want to shorten the URL. So whatever picture URL is generated, is going to get connected to the URL parameter of the tiny URL module. It generates a tiny URL for me, which I will then connect to the URL parameter of Twitter. Let me just reorganize these modules a little bit. And we're ready to go. So what we've just done is connect various parameters in these modules so that we have a workflow. So an email comes in. The image from that email is going to be taken and posted to Flickr. The subject line is going to be taken as a title for that picture on Flickr. Flickr generates a URL for me, which I provide to tiny URL, and it generates a tiny URL for me, which I use in my Twitter update. The Twitter update also requires a text tweet, which comes to me from the subject line of the email that was received. So that is my workflow. All I need to do is just to save it. And once you save it, it generates a specific email address for you, which you could use to send MMS messages or emails for this workflow, to trigger this workflow. So I'm just going to copy that. And I have a Gmail window open, which I'm going to use to send my email. So that's the address. The image that I've selected for this particular example is the the Peace Tower image uh, for the Parliament building in Ottawa. So I'm just attaching that image and again my subject line is going to become the caption of that image on Flickr as well as my Twitter update. So I'm just going to give it a quick subject line here.
and that's it. We're ready to send this email off. So now we just wait for a few moments for that workflow to be triggered. And once you're, give it a minute or so, go back into your tar pipe window and look at your activity to see if something's happened as a result of triggering that workflow. In your activity, you should get a summary of what just happened. It's taking a while to load, but. So this is something that happened a minute ago. It was completed in 10 seconds. An email arrived. Tarpipe took the picture out of that email, posted it on Flickr. Uh, URL was generated through Flickr, which was provided to tinyurl. This is the tiny URL. And then a tweet was posted with our subject line and uh, the tiny URL that was generated for us. So we could look in Twitter and see what just happened. I'm just going to refresh it. And sure enough, there is an update with our subject line, Peace Tower Parliament Building in Ottawa, and that's the tiny URL that was generated. If I click on that URL, it should take me to the picture that was posted on Flickr. And there it is. So my subject line becomes the caption for that picture, and the picture was posted into my photo stream in Flickr.